Hello, welcome to my channel and the insurance charge machine learning project video. In this video, we are going to train various regression models in the data which we used last data analysis project. In this video, I won't apply an analytical application. If you want to see the data analysis part of this project, you can visit the video in the past. We will just apply the necessary code from data analysis in one cell and we will directly move to feature engineering and machine learning. I took this dataset from Kaggle. I'm going to share this dataset's link in comments so you can visit the dataset page for downloading it and applying the codes with me. That was all for the introduction. Now we can move to the coding part. Welcome to the coding part of the video. I added some necessary codes from the data analysis part of the video for training the regression models. Let's run the cell and talk about this code. In the whole video, I will write the code and I will talk about how it works. I imported pandas, numpy and preprocessing from sklearn. I set a label encoder and used read csv for transforming the data file into a pandas data frame. There were duplicates in the data, so I removed them. Then I used label encoder for transforming the categorical columns. I did the encoding and I used the head method for showing you the first five entry. From now on, I'm going to talk like we did, we applied, instead of I. Let's talk about our data. We have seven columns, which are age, sex, BMI, children, smoking status, region, and charts. We will try to predict the charts with the features we have. Our numerical values range differently, so we are going to do scaling. I think we are ready to go. Let's start with setting our X and Y here. Once again, we will try to predict charts, so we set the Y as charts. Now we will go with splitting our data. Splitting our data is imported on evolution of the model performances. We imported train test split from sklearn and set it x train, x test, y train and y test. Our test size is 0.3 which means 30% of our data is going to be in the test set. We will train our models with the x train and y train. Then we will evaluate its performance with x test and y test. Now we are good to go for scaling. We won't scale the y, we will just scale the x. We imported standard scalar from sklearn and set it. Then we used fit transform on both x-train and x-test. Now it's time to define a function which will give us the mean absolute error and root mean square error. With this kind of function, we can get the model results easily without writing this every time.
We imported mean absolute error and mean squared error from sklearn. We defined a function with the name of model results and we are passing predictions into it. These predictions are going to be the predicted values which we are going to get from the trained models. We are printing root mean squared error and mean absolute error separately after this. We can start to train our models now. We will start with linear regression. We imported linear regression from sklearn and we set it. After that, we fitted it to our data. Now we are going to do the predictions and pass them into the function we defined. We made predictions with linear regression and x-test and stored our predictions into a variable. After that, we passed that predictions to the function we defined in order to get the model performance. Now we will train a support vector model. We imported support vector regressor and grid search from sklearn. We set the possible parameters for model. We set c values from 0.001 to 1, kernel values linear RBF poly, gamma values scale and auto and degree 2 to 5. We set grid search with possible parameters. After that, we fitted our model to our data. In the last line, we want it to print the best parameters. Let's see how this model performed. We made predictions with model and x-test and stored our predictions in a variable. After that, we passed the predictions to the function we defined in order to get the model performance. Now we will train a tree-based random forest model. We imported random forest regression from sklearn. We set the possible parameters for the model. For all the models, these values can be extended. We set the max depth 5, 10, 15 and number of features 2 to 10. After that, we fitted our model. Let's see how this model performed. We made predictions with model and x-test and stored our predictions in a variable. After that, we passed that predictions to the function we defined in order to get the model performance. The best performing model was this. We are going to use this model for predicting a new entry. Now we are going to create a new index and try to predict its insurance charge. I want to create a new index with the means of all columns. I'm going to create a for loop for this task. But first, let's see one more time what are our x columns. Okay, now let's create the loop which is going to give us the mean of all columns.
Works nicely. We started by setting column iterate as 1. We set for index in x.columns because we want to iterate over x, not all the columns. Mean is equal to the that indexes mean. After that, we printed the mean of the column and the column iterate. In the last line, we said increase the column iterate 1 every time this loop works. In this way, we got the means for all the columns. Now we can create a new customer with this information. We are going to create a NumPy array. OK, let's predict the insurance charge. We have the prediction of 14,000. What if we want to print this information in another way? We can use a print line like this. OK, now we can see that the insurance cost of the new customer is 14,000. That was all for the project. Have a great day.